Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this video, I'll try to clean up the mess. I'm literally sitting on 20 liters of rubbing alcohol and we'll see if I can get the oil from the inside of the bag and then repeat the experiment. I'm also gonna be building a different type of vacuum chamber, hopefully sturdier than the one that I had and we'll see how everything goes. So I managed to do a uh, one uh, pass of the cleanup of the inside. Uh, you may have seen me struggling to open up the bag a little bit. Uh, so here is the, the thing. I'm doing this cleanup about a week after the whole disaster. So that little thin layer of oil uh, basically uh, polymerized and that's why it got so sticky. Uh, nevertheless, I was able to open up the bag, do a cleanup and now for now, at least, nothing sticks, uh, so we'll see how it is after the alcohol dries up. Um, but I will be doing a few extra passes, you know, turning over the bag so that I can get the top side a little bit better because it's a lot easier when you clean down as opposed to trying to lift up and everything is up in the air. Uh, so that's what my day is going to look like. Hopefully it's going to be just a single day of cleanup as opposed to days, you know, plural. Uh, so we'll see how it goes. Now it's time to continue cleanup and you have an idea of how I'm doing the cleanup. So probably I'm just going to uh, fast forward a little bit and then give you my final thoughts at the end. <laughs> so stay tuned. And the cleanup is done. Uh, there is definitely a little squeakiness to it, but you can also definitely tell something horribly wrong went inside the bag. Uh, at least for now, I don't have to use force to separate the two leaves. Uh, it's back to what it used to be, which is just open it up and insert your workpiece. Um, next steps are to leave it like this for about an hour or so, so that all the alcohol from the inside evaporates, and then check the bag for vacuum leaks and plug those in. For the cutting board project, the next steps are to build a new vacuum chamber that will withstand the pressures that uh, collapsed the previous one and also order another pail of finishing oil uh, just, to, just to have enough on hand considering I lost about uh, 5 to 6 liters on the ground. Um, so while, while I'm waiting for the next pail to arrive, I'll probably sand the remainder of the board so that everything is ready to go once the pail arrives. I just focus on the finishing so hopefully by the end of the month which is October right now I will have the boards ready if you like this video make sure to like share and subscribe and also hit the notification bell to get notified of my next video release also follow me on all social media channels and consider supporting me on patreon all the links are in the description hashtag bonus I was able to get one of my backing boards and put it in the bag and create a vacuum. And so far everything is holding quite well. So that means there is no damages to the bag itself. So that means I don't have to replace it, which makes me happier. Uh, now, if you want to know how to check for vacuum leaks, make sure to watch my upcoming pro tip video. <laughs>